Journalist uh, Yvonne Mwoka joins us now from Habroni for an update. Yvonne, good to have you. Thank you very much uh, for your time. Initial counting, others are saying, suggesting that there, there may be just a new party ruling after 58 years. Is that holding up? Uh, thank you for having me. Yes, um, this election is completely different. <laughs> we, we, we are yet to see a new party ruling. What makes it so different? Because uh, for the first time, it looks like um, our, our president is not going to, to, to go on to his second term. All other presidents have finished their second term, but this one is losing. Then again, um, BDP council seats, when you woke up to the results, all of them, like actually the majority of them had got had got few, 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 few wins. Yeah. It's all opposition, and in particular, the umbrella for democratic change, UDC, under the leadership of Duma Boko. What do we know about... So Duma? even, the, the, uh, I'm saying even the parliamentary seats, yes. uh, the, the UDC is leading. What do we know about Duma Boko and UDC, and what makes him so attractive to the voter? Good question, because previously... Um, in 2019, he wasn't very much liked. There were some connotations that he's full of pride and full of himself, that he's a guy from Harvard who doesn't listen to nobody. But then this time around, we, we watched our presidential debate, and this is Duma Boko coming all calm and, you know, very much relatable in his deliberations. And then again, he's, he's a very, very intelligent guy, and he's very, you know, he, he's somebody who knows how to charm with uh, his diction. And again, even their, their, their manifesto, it speaks a lot into issues of uh, unemployment and the economy, which is currently shrinking. You know, he's a human rights lawyer. Yeah. That's the other thing. He has urged his supporters to maintain vigilance and discipline uh, in the early counting, saying that uh, the, the, the possibility of rigging remains uh, and they should not let up their, their vigilance. Um, is there any credibility to that suggestion that the, the IEC uh, might not be handling things uh, properly? No, 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 no. I don't think there'll be any rigging because, I mean, since morning, we, we've seen how consistent the UDC is winning because even the strongholds of the BDP are losing. So um, the IEC for the longest time is questioned for its independence because uh, they are literally under the, the instruction of, of the office of the president, which tempers with, um, you know, uh, their interests. But anyway, we don't we don't foresee any possibility of, of rigging. It's too late for that. So you're saying the margins are too wide even for rigging at this particular point. You're saying it's too late for but that. Extremely, extremely, extremely large. Yeah. So, what, There's no time for that. What, what does this mean, though, for Botswana? I mean, what, what, what does it mean, this kind of change uh, uh, in terms of power? This is a whole new Botswana that's loading, you know. Since 1966, we've been ruled by one party, Botswana Democratic Party. And uh, like I said earlier, all the presidents have had their two terms, and others even more, like uh, Sekidi Mila Masiri. But this current outgoing president missed his second term. So, um, you know, because we are in the world of digital media, we are seeing a lot of young people talking out, inventing and sharing and expressing themselves for the first time. Even the civil servants are commenting, like, I don't know, there's, there's just a wave of uh, relief and freedom. It's, it's like people have been waiting for this, you know, moment to come. Yeah. Previously, the, 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 the UDC, uh, of course, would have uh, tried to get into these elections, I think, from Ian Kama to uh, Mkhwesi Masisi, not being successful. If they are successful right now, what does it mean for the party itself? I mean, how stable is the UDC as a political party uh, and uh, the, the internal functioning of that organization? Well, they've had the only to, you know, to restore their, the, the trust of the public. 
for example, right now, um, Juma Boko is working closely with um, an economist by the name of He's a, uh, he's, he, he, you know, when they started, people were doubting they would finish this race together, but they're still together. And the guy is going to be his, his vice president. So, um, there are also talks that this guy is the one who grooms for going to this, you know, you know, accommodative and, 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 you know, relatable politician, contrary to what we saw in 2019. And Botswana, I, I was shocked. Botswana loved the UDC. Especially these young people, they love the UDC. The outgoing, it seems, uh, President, is he likely going to want to cling to power or is he uh, likely going to hand over power without any contestation should he lose his mandate? I foresee the latter. I don't see him as the type of person to cling to power. I, he, he will definitely, you know, wish the new president and his administration a good luck. I don't, I don't, I don't know if Masisi as that type of person who's power hungry or clingy when it comes to power. Yeah, Yvonne, much appreciated, and thank you very much uh, for your time and your intervention uh, tonight. You didn't uh, ask about Ian Kama. You didn't <laughs> ask about Ian Kama. Oh, you, oh, okay. <laughs> what do you want to know about? What do you want to say about Ian Kama uh, and how he is going He's to take? He's in this election. The guy yeah. is powerful. Remember, he was on self exile. Yeah. He was with you guys in South Africa. Did he play a role yeah. in 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 the rise of UDC? Like like the whole political landscape, he comes with a lot of charm because. Um, his gatherings attracted a lot of attention. His political rallies. He's the patron of a, of a breakaway party from the B, from the BDP. So he's he's also a chief, a paramount chief. He had a, he had a tension with uh, the president Masisi. Now he comes back. People are like, "Wow, our president is back. Or our chief is back." So all his rallies and the people that he has been launching. I'm telling you, they've been attracting a lot of uh, attention and. Attendance was just incredible. Yeah. Kama, Kama has this, um, you know, he has this charm. People just want to be around him. And is, is he likely going to form part of uh, this, this new government in, in some way? No, because he's a patron of his own party, Busana Patriotic Front. And he's got uh, a couple of councillors, um, and, 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 and I think, yeah, MPs. Some of them have won. So he'll remain in the patron of the party. Yvonne, much because I, I know, I know that he's happy that my sister has lost. Right. So that's all that he wanted. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. That's a journalist in Botswana, the Yvonne Muaka in Khabroni for us. Much appreciated.